So for this next part of the question, I'm assuming you've already watched the previous part. What we're told now is that the magnitude of the horizontal component of the force exerted on the plank at A by the wall is 2mg. And what we've got to do is find x in terms of A. So I mark that horizontal force. It's going to act in that direction. We know its magnitude. It is 2mg. And what we need to do here is resolve in a horizontal direction. And if you resolve in a horizontal direction, I'm going to take to the right as being positive. It's up to you. You can take towards the left if you like. All that's going to happen is that any of the signs I write down here are going to be reversed. But you should still end up with the same answer at the end. So resolving to the right, I've got the 2mg here acting in that direction, it's positive. And then I've got T cosine alpha, that component of the tension acting towards the left. So that's going to be negative, minus T cosine alpha. And these forces, the weight, they're perpendicular to the direction we're resolving. And this component of the tension, that too is perpendicular. So it's not going to enter this equation. So this is the resultant force horizontally acting on the uniform plank here. And because it's in equilibrium, that resultant force has got to equal zero. So it's just a question now of substituting our value for the tension T that we found in the first part of the question. And cosine alpha. Cosine alpha, remember, is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that ratio is going to be 4 fifths. So substituting those values in, you're going to get this equation here. And I can see that we could do a lot of cancelling here. For instance, this 5 here cancels out with that 5 there. I can divide through by mg on each term. So that one goes, that one goes there. Okay. And then 2 will go into both the 4 and the 6. So 2's into the 4 go 2, and 2's into the 6 goes 3. So what I'm going to do now is just multiply throughout by 3a. That will get rid of the fraction here. So we're therefore going to have the 2 times the 3a. That's going to be 6a. When we multiply this fraction here with the 3a, all we're left with is 2 times all of a plus 3x. So expanding that bracket, it's going to be a minus here. That's going to give me minus 2a minus 6x, and that equals 0. So if we just work down this right-hand side here, cleaning this up, you can see we've got 4a would equal 6x if we rearrange that. So therefore, we've got 4a equals 6x. Divide both sides by 6, and you get x equals 4a over 6. And I can reduce the top and bottom by dividing top and bottom by 2. And that's going to give me x equaling 2a over 3. And there you go. All right.